Hello, how are you? My name is Ruth and you are very welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm coming to you with a very bold red lip, which is not like me, and my hair up in what we call in Ireland a hun bun. Um, anyone else very tempted to cut their own hair in lockdown? We're getting there lads. It's a possibility, it might happen. I could come back on to the camera the next day and have like one of those bowl haircuts that you know your granny used to do to you. Um, anyway, today's video is uh, my update on my collaborative video of Project 10 uses, Shop My Stash, Chop and Block kind of series all jumbled into one. Um, so I'll go through the products that I used last month first and then we'll go into what I'm going to be using for this month. So last month I'll start off with my primer. So this was the Catrice um, Tensational 10 in 1 Dream Primer. This was actually really lovely. Um, I thought it was lovely even for days that I wouldn't wear makeup, that I just wanted something on my skin to help me feel a little bit kind of better and not look as shy as I usually do without makeup. Um, and it's really nice under foundation as well. So I'm delighted that I got this out of the drawer and really gave it a good go. Um, and I'll be putting this hopefully into a project pan uh, fairly soon. So I would equate it to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, maybe not exact you, but along a similar line and a fraction of the cost so I thought that was really lovely and I'm delighted with it. Uh, the foundation is this one, uh, the Max Factor uh, Miracle Touch and I have decided that I am putting this into my project pan. So I got some good use out of it, there's a bit of a dip going in it and it's going into my Team Project pan because I enjoyed using it. Uh, it's an older foundation in my collection, it's a good shade match for me at the moment, I have it on and uh, it's not cruelty free so it needs to go out of my collection. And uh, So I'm happy to be working on that next so I was delighted that that was in. I feel like I've had a really successful uh, month with these products. This is another one, absolutely love it. This is by BH Cosmetics. And it is the Belgian Waffle uh, 6 Color Break Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. Uh, these are the shades. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see it, um, a picture of it with the uh, swatches and stuff like that. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, the bronzing section of it is in particular, I would obviously be on the paler side. And you have three different shades here and virgin from the you know dark to light and if I mix them all together it works if I just want you know sometimes to go a little bit darker I can and uh, this color here this bottom black shade is actually fantastic if you've overdone it with the bronzer and it's gone a bit muddy or something like that now I haven't said that that didn't really happen with this that often but maybe if you want too low with it or that if you just get some of this and buff it back up it just really really lovely uh the highlighters are fine as well they're kind of um they're quite a glistening kind of um, colour. Um, this one at the end is quite dark. I haven't really played around with that one too much. I'm kind of thinking that maybe in the summertime um, it might be nice to mix it in with the bronzers and kind of go for a more glowier, glowier look even. Um, but yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed this and would definitely look at buying more complexion products from BH Cosmetics. I think the next thing I'd look at from there is maybe a blush palette because I think I'd enjoy that. Uh, next up are the little blush palette that I have. So these are depend or depotted from the um, Love Flushed um, palette from Too Faced. Uh, this is one from Revolution. And then Haley, if you're watching, these are my two highlighters that I was telling you about that I have pressed. So these are loose. This was uh, Too Faced. I think it's Gothic or something like Or not Too Faced. Went and wild. The loose highlighter. And this is from JCAT, a loose one as well. And um, I hate using loose highlighters. So I actually pressed them into a pan. Um, block my face out there. There's them there at the end. Uh, and yeah, they work really well. I'm really happy I did that because I was going getting rid of them. But I liked the colours. And so I'm really happy. So I just used, you know, rubbing alcohol and pressed them into pans. And they've been working perfect for me. Um, next up is, I adore this. I'm telling you, I've had such a great month with these products. This is from uh, Revolution Pro. And it is the Skin Finishing Opalescent. And it this is... 
I don't even know if you'll be able to, oh you can, maybe you can't in, on camera. So this is either a very minimalist highlighter or um, how I use it is a big huge fluffy brush and just around the perimeter of my face and it just gives a beautiful glow to the skin without being, you know, blinding. It just makes the skin look healthy and gorgeous and just, I adore this product. Now I believe it's, it's akin to um, the one from MAC but I've never tried the MAC one so I can't really say if it's a dupe or not but I can say that it's a beautiful product. I mean it's under a tenner so I mean you just can't go wrong with it. And they do different shades as well. I have another shade that I need to try out yet but I'm delighted I tried this. This is a, a real favourite in my collection now. Um, I had mentioned in the video that I didn't know that I would get a whole lot of use out of this. This is from e.l.f. and it is one of their kind of glitter liquid shadows. Uh, kind of supposed to be like the Stila Glitter Glows. I actually used it quite a bit and I really enjoyed it. I just kind of would dab a little bit on my finger and just tap it over the eyelid just to give a little bit of a glitter and a little bit of bling, bling even. And um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed this. It's kind of, I feel maybe I might actually leave it out because it was in the drawer, it wasn't getting used, I forget about it. But because it was out on, on my countertop, I consistently used it and ended up loving it. Um, lip products and oh my face powder another real hit of the of the month uh this is the becca you're probably not going to be able to see it because it's so glowing or shiny not a hope uh this is the becca powder um the hydra mist isn't it yeah hydra mist set and refresh now as i said in my introduction video i never felt any cooling wet sensation or anything like that that everybody seems to have felt with it um but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I love this under my eyes. I've tried numerous uh, loose powders and, and, and pressed powders. Um, I've tried the Laura Mercier that everyone adores, didn't like it. Um, but this is the first one that I really feel is not heavy, is not cakey, doesn't sit into my fine lines or anything like that, which I've, I have an abundance of. And I really, really love it. So I'm thrilled that I actually got, they got this at Christmas in a set. And I'm thrilled that I did. I really love it. I love the small size as well, because let's be honest, that'll probably take me 10 years to finish anyway with all the makeup I have. But love this. This might actually stay out as well, because I love it so much on the under eyes and just, you know, in the T-zone and that, that I think I might leave it out because I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, the lip products I had out then, I had a lip balm from Burt's Bees. Uh, very nice, very pleasant, uh, nice little shade on it, so kind of um, kind of a peachy kind of tint to it. Very comfortable on the lips, very hydrating, really enjoyed it. Probably keep that one out as well and try and just keep using it. And um, this is the L'Oreal liquid lipstick I was using in I Choose. Actually enjoyed this more than I thought as well. I'd be honest, I'd kind of written off these kind of uh, liquid lipstick products but I think now with masks and everything I'm kind of thinking about them a bit more and again it was it was very nice and um, I won't say comfortable on the lips because I just don't believe that any liquid lipstick is comfortable on the lips but it was lovely for wearing for videos and stuff like that I really enjoyed it um, so yeah that'll stay in my collection as well so nothing really is going this month everything is kind of staying so that's good and um, this is the Marc Jacobs uh, little mini lipstick. This is another one that I got in Sephora, France. Uh, very, very nice shade, very wearable, a kind of a brownie peachy nude, um, which is a, a very pleasant and very nice on the lips. So that'll be sticking around. Hopefully this will go into a pan at some stage. This is Sugar High. So that is that one. And lastly, I'm going to throw away, excuse me, my Wet and Wild uh, gel lip liner. So again, very nice to use, very pleasant, a nice easy wearable shade and this too is going into my Team Project pan, you might have seen it recently that it's going into that. So yeah, I had a very successful month with those products and really enjoyed all of them. Very little there that I didn't, I don't think there's anything I didn't enjoy. So going forward into next month. So I Initially, 
uh, I use a random generator to try and help me pick my products because I get a bit overwhelmed sometimes with some of the stuff I have and kind of I find it easier to help me. So I started off with a primer and the primer that it picked for me was this one. Now, if you're over here in Ireland, you will know what it is. It is the sculpted by Amy Connolly. So she is an Irish beautician, makeup artist influencer type personality um, and this is the beauty base pearl the all-in-one moisturizing primer so prep protect and perfect it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid in it and it has broad spectrum spf 30. so once this came out i kind of thought okay well I'd like to focus in on her products because I have a few from her because I'd like to do an Instagram post on it or maybe a video on here I haven't decided yet um so yeah she's so that kind of influenced the rest of my decision making so that is the primer I haven't put a foundation in this time because I have a foundation in my project pan which you saw is the max factor and I have if you saw my 100% cruelty free I have the uh, physicians formula and I kind of want to focus on them a little bit this month and not uh, pull myself in different directions. I had three, four, five nearly on the go last month, which was kind of ridiculous. Luckily, they were all near, three of them were near the end of their, their lives, so it, was, it wasn't so bad. But I just want to rein it in a little bit this month and make some progress. Anyway, off subject as per usual. Um, so this is uh, again by Sculpted uh, by Amy Comley. This is called Liquid Lights. So this is her liquid highlighter. So it is Gilded Glow Liquid Highlight. Doesn't say a shade. Um, I have it on at the moment. Don't know yet how I really feel about it. Can you see a little bit of it there? I feel like it feels a tiny bit greasy on my skin. I don't know what to equate to. It wouldn't be like colour drops. It's not as pigmented as that, but yet it's not as light as some others like the Charlotte Tilbury one or that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my focus um, this month. And with that as well, then there is a palette. And it is the, again, this is her face palette. So she does a cool little idea with her face palettes, which I really like the idea of. And it is, uh, you can pick and choose your shades. Now this one came pre-picked because it was all part of a, a Christmas kind of kit. But basically they all just um, very easy. You don't even need a magnet or anything. They all just pop out. So you can get darker uh, bronzers. You can get different shades of highlighter, different shades of blush. You can opt to have all bronze. You can have all blush. You know what I mean? Um, the only kind of product that I feel isn't so hot in here is, well, so far, but I've only used it a couple of times. This is a cream highlighter. And I, I don't know what to make of it. I think maybe it's more of a skin balm gloss that kind of thing so not maybe a blinding highlight but more a sheen on the skin if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making any sense there but um but yeah this i'm keen to give it a good go and see if it is something that i'm going to enjoy or not how does it feel quite dry if i've been honest with you uh there's the bronze highlighter and and bronzer shades on the hand um I don't know. I can't say that I'm in love with the formula so far, but again, that's what this month is all about, is trying to try them out and see how I truly feel about them. Uh, next up is from Wet and Mild, or yeah, Wet and Mild, is the Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. So this is a very light shade. It's supposed to be a bronzer. I don't know on what planet on earth this would ever be a bronzer. I don't care how pale you are. That's never going to bronze you, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's someone out there that's gone, that's my perfect bronzer, Ruth. What are you on about? Um, but again, I use this like the, the Revolution one. Um, I think it was Jessica, Jessica Braun that said it was a dupe for hourglass kind of ambient powders. Um, so that's what I'm going to use it as, as a finishing powder on the face and see if I like it as much as the, the Revolution Pro ones because I don't feel like I need an abundance of this kind of product in my collection. So I need to try that, ease this out against that one and see if it's worth keeping or not. Uh, I have a cream blush, uh, which is from e.l.f. It's one of their monochromatic multi-sticks. Uh, and it is in the shade Dazzling Peony. Uh, this is what it looks like. 
So it's a nice shade. It's um, just watch it all over my place. So um, it's kind of down the center there. I don't know if you, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it there. Um, yeah, I picked it up on a whim because I, I want to try more cream products. So we're going to try that out and see if we like it or what we think of it. I mean, it's only been in my collection about six months. I haven't tried it yet, you know. And lastly, we have, so I have a, um, a section that is dedicated to eye products. And what I mean by that is just singular eye products. So like the, the Elf one was an example of it. And this is another one. This is from Collection. It's called the Bounce Back Eye Colour. Uh, in the shade Hello Angel and this is what it looks like if you can see so I have it today actually in my inner corner highlight you probably can't see um, it's supposed to I suppose it does have a bit of a squishy feel to it I think to me it feels like you know those Stila putty primers that kind of feel I don't know if it's like a super super, super shock shadow because they haven't come in the post yet. So I can't equate it. Oh, that was a great swatch, Ruth. Yeah, nobody's going to be able to see that. Go to home in yourself. It's down here. Um, but yeah, look at it. It wasn't expensive. I wanted to try it and see what I thought of it. And I'm going to try it out for the month and see if I like it or if it's going to be going bye-bye from my collection. Um, I also picked out, I know I'm doing a Panda palette and Panda's eyeshadows, but I felt that's not enough. Let's put more in. So I felt like February was a great month for doing these kind of colours and that. So we're starting off with the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. An oldie but a goodie. Uh, as you can see, I have one pen, two pen, very proud of myself. But I just thought these colours, oh, three pen, I forgot about them. Uh, these colours will be lovely um, for this time here. And I'm not getting enough use out of it, so I need to incorporate into this month for eye looks. Um, I also have in that same vein. Uh, this is the Elf Quad. Oh, some of this is in French for some reason. Very bad. Uh, the Elf Quad. Sorry. Um, that is it there. Because I feel like if I don't wear these now, they're not going to get tried again until. Probably autumn time, being realistic, knowing me. I'm very much a seasonal makeup wearer. I uh, also have rose water, which is just similar vein as very bad, but just a more cool toned kind of version of it. And then lastly, I have deep potted some shadows, um, excuse me, from uh, some palettes that I have that you can easily pop them out. So up top here, we, these are from Viseart, uh, the Paris Edit palette. I have a kind of a, a glittery kind of shade there from Kaleidos. I have this Port Row from the Tati palette. So that's the glitter of it. And that's the three kind of, they don't, that looks orange for some reason. They're kind of pinky red. And then these are ones that I depotted from the Zoeva palette a while back. Did I say this was Tati or Zoeva? I can't remember, but that's Tati, Port, uh, Zoeva, Kaleidos, and Viseart. So again, they looked way oranger on screen. That's so weird. Um, pinky, purpley tones that are appropriate for, everything's appropriate, but you know what I mean, more appropriate for the um, Valentine's kind of season that we're in at the moment. And then I forgot to bring these over. Uh, this again is another brand, another item from Sculpted by Amy, and I actually think this is such a clever product. This is one end is your lip liner, and the other end is your lipstick. And I just thought so simple, but so smart, because I don't know about you, but I always wear one with the other. These are going to be the worst swatches ever because I am not left-handed. Um, but again, lovely kind of pinky nude colours, uh, easy to wear. I just want to, you know, tie it in with the other products for me. Um, I have, which I'll, what I'm wearing today is the Dose of Colours uh, Liquid Matte in Kiss of Fire. So again, it looks kind of orange, but that is a deep reddish kind of colour in real life. So weird that that's orange. Again, the month for reds. Um, this is a darkish kind of berry uh, color from Wet n Wild. Uh, Liquid Cat Suit, Megalast, High Shine Lipstick in Wine is the Answer. 
Ain't that the truth? Really bad swatches. But again, that'll go nice with the e.l.f. palettes, I think, and kind of tie in together. And last but not least, uh, I got these again after Christmas in the sales. This is one of the Fenty Lip Stunners uh, in Underrated. And again, if I don't wear it now at this time of year, chances are it won't get worn till next autumn kind of time. Um, but yeah, that is it. So that's what I used and what I'm going to be used going forward uh, or using going forward. Yeah, I think that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you do these kind of videos yourself or do you do this kind of thing at home yourself? Do you kind of pick out certain products for certain times of the year? Do you kind of, um, do you have too much in your collection? You can't really make head nor tail of it. So you need to kind of uber focus on stuff every so often to see if you like them and whether they're going to stay with you or not. Um, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. Like I said before, I love chatting with people about all this kind of stuff because there's no one here <laughs> in real life that has any interest whatsoever. They just think I am stone cracked, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'll chat to you in the next video. Take care out there and I will chat to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Slow.